I just happened to catch the last part of your discussion, and I believe we have a common solution to our respective problems. Well, all right. Let's hear it. This is how I've come to be seen by my people. Despite my best efforts, I've become an icon. I didn't understand why or how until I saw this. I realized it's simpler to make a statue to someone who you believe embodies all your better qualities than it is to actually improve yourself. And this saves you from having to think. Exactly. For the last year, I've tried to point my people toward the simple truth that we are one, regardless of race. Somehow that message has gotten twisted so that I have become their idea of the truth personified. Once you turn into this, you can no longer be who you are. You can only be what they want you to be, what they expect you to be. If I return, they will try to make me into this, and I cannot allow that. If I stay here, my followers will continue to disrupt Babylon 5. Is that not true, Captain? I hate to say it, but yes, that's correct. So you see, Leet and I are in the same position. Neither of us can go home, and neither of us can stay here any longer. Then where do you go? Out there. Visiting Centauri Prime helped me understand the Centauri. And out of that came a new peace between our people. I also realized that there is so much I have never seen. How much more could I understand? How much more could I help my people if I saw even more of the universe around us? I could destroy this by betraying my principles. But I can't do that. So I have decided to go away. I will return when I've found a way to destroy this while keeping the message intact. What about Lita? I could use a traveling companion. I have learned a great deal about healing wounds and curing anger. Perhaps in my way I can help her deal with her own anger as I dealt with mine. Either way, as soon as I put my affairs in order, I am leaving Babylon 5. And it is entirely possible that I may never return. They say you are leaving. Yes. You can't do that. You are an important figure to our people. You have an obligation to either stay here and teach or return home and lead. My obligation is to do what I believe is right. If that means leaving, then I will leave. You don't understand. I spent all my money to come here, to sit at your feet and learn from you. There's nothing you can learn from my feet. And I am not responsible for your choices. We put you in this position, Jakar. Our reverence is our gift to you. And you are responsible to us. You owe us. Without us, you are nothing. Then I am nothing. Good day. I made these for you. You made these? You are the one who has been selling these. Yes. It has been my way of honoring you. Go home. Don't. Don't tell me to go home. Don't turn your back on me, Jakar. Jakar! <laughs> 